All right, everyone, it's seven o'clock, so we'll go on and get started. My name is Tasha, Tasha Hodes, and we host this class on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. So what you're viewing on the screen is sort of an overview um, of everything that Tradera has to offer. If you look to the right in the honey mustard or golden yellow boxes, starting with the back office um, education. Now, first, um, let's just briefly address we know the back office is being updated and it's um almost ready for us still has a few kinks so i know we all have to be a little bit more patient until um, they get some of those issues flushed out but um hopefully the back office will be available soon i absolutely love the training that is provided there um all of it is done by Cody and Easton, uh, the owners, CEOs of the company. And the videos cover everything you need to know to be a professional trader from A to Z. What I love about the videos is that they're very practical. When I started my Forex education three years ago, I literally studied videos um, for six months. I was with another company for six straight months. I watched videos. Then I attempted to open my demo and live accounts and realized I did not have a strategy. So I had all that knowledge, but didn't know how to apply it to the charts. That won't happen here. Um, the CEOs do a wonderful job of introducing a concept and then diving straight into the charts to make, make it practical. Okay, so Tradera has one official master trader. His name is Derek Conway. He's amazing. He's my mentor. And you can get access to his live um, trading classes. Typically, that link is in the back office. Right now, um, he's just giving out a Zoom link until uh, the back office is, is ready for us. But uh, his live training uh, session Sunday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern um, it's really, you know, the next step as you come to live classes, as you dive into the back office education, um, his classes are the next step and you can actually learn how to take your own trades. It's amazing. He marks up charts. So if you're nervous about um, marking your support and resistance and you want some more practice with that, uh, the repetition of coming to his classes over and over and over again, it starts to, to sink in. It may take a week or two or three, but um, he does the same thing um, over and over, and it really does um, sit with you. He's an excellent instructor. So basically, me and my team, we go to his classes. He marks up the charts, maybe seven to ten pairs, and you can pick which ones you want to trade. Uh, mark it up yourself in trading view and he teaches us how to trade from zone to zone and we're making money um, on a daily basis all right now there are other live classes as well normally coach max and ryan defreitas from lit trade house are doing sessions um either 7 or 8 a.m for the new york and then 9 p.m um, at night for the asian session and then in terms of a telegram group I'm a part of Tradera Pitmasters, and that's run by Clyde Fisher and Brenda Isern, wonderful traders as well. So it's a wonderful trading community. Um, there's a lot of good stuff here. Now we'll, I'll explain why we created this class. So sometimes when, if you're brand new to Forex, then it can seem like a foreign language, you know, a second language and it can seem a little overwhelming, even a little intimidating. That's why we created this class. So we offer the things over here in the blue, just to sort of um, get you ready for everything in the back office with the live classes, et cetera. We wanna introduce concepts here so that at least when you're in the back office and when you're in those live classes, maybe you've heard the terms before. So everything is not brand new, okay? So we'll show you how to get started with your demo account, how to download the application where you actually take the trade and how to take the Tradera trade alerts. And now that we've been here um, going on three months, we're moving into how to chart in trading view and how to do some beginning analysis. So nothing too heavy, we wanna keep it light. The meat and potatoes is that back office education. So definitely when the site comes back up, uh, don't be shy, jump in there. All right, so here's the format of the class. I'll spend the next five to 10 minutes going over something new 
um, and or important. And then with every class, we go over how to open up that demo account, download MetaTrader 4 and take the Tradera trade alerts in case we have any first timers here. So all of, the, all of these classes are recorded. If you look in the chat and I'll post it again, you will see a link to my YouTube channel. And that's where you can find the entire recordings as well as small two to three quick minute videos. So you wouldn't have to watch the entire class again. So let me post that site for you. Okay, so check in the chat for um, that YouTube site. All right, with that, let's get started with what uh, some new material that we'll cover for a few minutes. So give me one second and I will share that. All right, so last week and the week before, we have introduced, and you're welcome, Sheila, we have introduced candlestick patterns. So we're, I'm, I want to gently introduce how to take that next step, because when everyone starts and you're brand new, you know, you get a trade alert and you just put it into your phone and you kind of take the trade blindly. So now I'm going to help you take that next step to be able to pull that uh, Forex pair up in trading view trading view is the app where we go to look at the pair see what it's doing and make the decision um, in terms of if it's ready to trade so I want to give you some beginner steps to begin um, to do your own analyzing of, of the pair so today we want to talk about chart formations so you know previously when we introduced the candlesticks then that the goal of that was to look at it's called price action what is each candle telling me and and we let that help us decide if it's ready for a trade now the candles grouped together can also deliver a message and that sometimes they form chart formations and i want to give you one to uh, look for moving forward and we're going to look at the m formation all right, so here I've taken a snapshot of TradingView. This actually happened today with one of the free Forex uh, trade alerts. It was for a sell on NU, which is NZD USD. So you can see uh, the pair is here. So um, when I pulled up this pair, this is immediately what I saw. So this long drop here, that happened this afternoon. But basically everything you see circled in blue, that's where it was when I looked at the chart, uh, whatever time it was this afternoon. So this is a perfect example of an M formation. So we are forming the letter M. It starts uh, going up with the green, coming down with the red, going up with the green and coming down with the red. This um, is also called a double top. So those wicks kind of form um, the tops. So this is commonly found at the top of an uptrend. So as you can see, let me, um, the uptrend started here and we worked our way up. One second, there we go. The uptrend started here and we worked our way up. And then this is where, starting here, is where that M formation started. So we went up and then down, up and down again um, to form a letter M. So based on that, that let me know that um, with M formations, typically price goes down after the M has formed. So when the trade alert came in and it was um, an M, then that gave me extra confidence to know that taking a sell would be a good idea. And look what happened. The bottom fell out. All these pips were caught today. All right. So moving to the next slide. Let's talk about why this is important. So every time we go over candlestick um, patterns or chart formations. Uh, the goal is to look for a confirmation. So that's a trading term. 
So if you're looking at a candlestick pattern, a chart formation, an indicator, anything you see that gives you a valid reason to take the trade, that's called a confirmation. And when you get one or more or two or three of those confirmations together, now you have confluence. And that's a trader's dream because when you get confluence, now you have every confidence to go on and take the trade. So remember, as new traders, when you first join Tradera, you're just taking that Tradera trade alert on blind faith, right? But as, as, you're, as you get more comfortable and when you're ready to take that next step, you want to look for additional confirmations um, so that you can have confluence and feel better about your trade. So that is the purpose of, of why you want to analyze it. So let's give you an example. So let's say that Tradera sends out um, a sell trade for a pair. First step, you pull it up in, in trading view like we did with NZD USD. You observe that a M formation is developing. Okay, perhaps you wait on that last leg down of the M before you take the sell trade. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say when I pulled up this pair, let's say that maybe price was here. Ideally, you want to enter the trade. This is called the neckline. If I were to um, insert a horizontal line here, this is called the neckline. Let's make that a little thicker. Let's style it a little thicker. Okay, make sure it's straight. This is called the neckline. So once price gets here, that's a great entry point um, for the trade. So when you pulled it up, if price was here, then maybe you would wait till price came down here and then you could enter the trade and have every confidence um, in that cell. So this is the importance of learning about candlestick patterns, uh, chart uh, formations, and we'll just cover uh, maybe one, no more than two each period. I don't wanna overwhelm you, but um, if you have the time, if you, uh, over the weekend, um, pull up a chart and begin for yourself to look for these M formations and then see if price dropped afterwards. So you want to begin to train your eye to find it. So in the next class, um, we'll co cover a W. Um, but for now, we'll just keep it at the M. So that's the, the new lesson for today. So it's about 713. Now we'll shift gears. And for our first timers, um, we will introduce MT4 um, and how to set up that demo account. Um, in the chat, show me, um, let's see, put a, hello everyone, you're very welcome, Stephanie. Um, hey, Glory. Turn it off. Yeah, so put a, let me make sure everyone. Turn it off. It. Now. All right. So in the chat, give me, um, put in a number eight if you have not set up your demo account. I just wanna get an idea of how many people I'm talking to. All right, Latoya and Tony, anyone else? Um, oh yeah. Okay, great. We have at least about 10 or more. Okay, great. Oh, lots of you, good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I was, it would be beneficial. Oh, Matt, Mart is live already. All right. Okay. I'm seeing close to, to um, 15 or 20 that have not started their demo account. So give me a second and I will share the next slide. So you definitely want to start in demo. Demo gives you a safe space to um, learn and experiment with taking trades and the money is all fake. So you don't have to be concerned about using uh, your real money. So you can make as many mistakes as, you're, um, as you want 
and people stay in their demo accounts uh, different times, so different lengths of time. So don't feel any pressure to just rush and into your live account. You definitely want to make um, as many mistakes and learn as much as you can in demo. So it's a different mindset, if I'm honest, when you start your live account. So just, you know, I guess my advice is don't rush it into your live account. All right. So let's talk about it. So when you start your live account, you're going to partner with a broker. And this is a list of some of the brokers that the traders have vetted. You're free to use whichever broker you want. So I thought it would be helpful if we um, showed you how to create your demo account with one of these brokers. So it will give you some practice in terms of interacting with that broker because you're going to have to do it for your live account. So for this class, we're going to use Hugo's Way, and I'll show you lots and lots of screenshots and take the guesswork um, out of it for you. So here's the website. Go to hugosway.com forward slash demo dash sign up. And, and remember, all of these videos are on my YouTube site. So if I'm going too fast, don't worry. You can go there and find this very um, short video setting up your demo account. Now, I, I'm giving you this URL because if you go to just hugosway.com, it's not simple or easy in terms of trying to create your demo account. Most people end up starting a live account by mistake. So be sure to use um, this uh, URL. Okay, so you only need to fill out a few fields, first and last name, email address. For leverage, you can use 500, which is actually good for your live account as well. And you wanna choose a small starting balance. I think the minimum here is 1,000. Um, other demo accounts, you'll see people post online, you know, 50,000, $100,000. And, you know, you can definitely get all the practice you need with that. There's nothing wrong with it. But in reality, when you start your live account, it may be 50, $100, 150. So um, having a, a smaller demo account will be more realistic. So you hit submit. Then Hugo's Way will send you a confirmation email. This is what it will look like. You wanna pay attention to this demo account number and this trader password. Um, a note for the future, when you're ready for your live account, you'll get a second email and it's going to have your account number and trader password as well. This will always be in your email so you can always um, pull it up. Now in terms of MT4, that's a uh, short for MetaTrader 4. That's where we actually take the trade. Trading view is just where we pull it up and do all of our analysis. We actually take the trade using the MetaTrader 4 app. So to keep things simple, you know, especially for brand new traders, there's a lot of information to absorb, right? We found that if you take the trade on your phone, it kind of keeps things kind of high level and kind of simple. You are able to download it on your computer. And at some point we'll go through some steps with that. It's just a lot more complex. So for now, what we recommend, pull up this email on your phone when you're looking for your confirmation email, then you can just um, click on one of these download links and download MT4 right there on your phone. And that's the last step. So after you complete this, you would have created your demo account and downloaded MT4. Let me share. Yes, um, Nicholas, this will be posted in YouTube. The video is called Setting Up Your Demo Account. And so the next step, and this video is there as well, connecting MT4 uh, to your demo account. Um, I'm looking at the chat. Can trades be done on TradingView also? No, there, there might be one broker that TradingView accepts, but typically we trade on um, MetaTrader 4 and we just use TradingView for the analysis. I use TradingView on my laptop. Gives me a nice big screen to look at it. Okay, so now that we have created the demo account, and download MT4, let's show how to connect the two. 
So first I'll go through an example with the iPhone and then we'll do, um, we'll do the droid. So uh, for the person in the chat, uh, if you scroll up, you should be able to see my YouTube channel, but I will post it here again. There you go. All right, so on the iPhone, when you open up MT4, look in the bottom right and you can click on this settings icon, looks like a wheel. Click on that. Then you want to click on new account. Now for the next step, we're going to select log into an existing account because we've already created that demo account with Hugo's Way. Now, if you want to bypass the broker, and this is what the back office teaches, you can just click on this option here and open a demo account right there in MT4. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it starts you with $100,000. So you're just dealing with a large, um, a large dollar figure, but hey, it still works, so that's fine too. For these classes, I'll show you how to log into your Hugo's Way demo account. And now you need to choose um, the server. So type in Hugo's Way, and then you'll get a list. And every broker has one that they use for demo and one that they use for live. So for your demo, you'll click on Hugo's Way dash demo three. And um, looking at the chat question, no, you can switch. Most of us have several, you can have as many demo accounts as you want, as many live accounts, and you can have multiple brokers. So you're not tied um, to just one. So once you choose that um, server, then you'll come to the login page. So rem remember that confirmation email that Hugo's Way sent? Now you'll need that. And so for the login, type in your account number and then for the password type in trader password you won't need the investor password if you use it by mistake you're not going to be able to trade it only gives you read only access all right now let's do the android so when you open it up it looks a little different um upper left corner the three horizontal white lines click on that then click on manage accounts then click on the plus icon in the upper right corner next we're going to log in to an existing account our hugo's way account we're going to type in hugo's way and then that's when you'll get that list and you can click on hugo's way dash demo three and just like with the iphone um you're going to get the demo account number that's your login, and the trader password is the password, okay? And click on that save password checkbox. Make sure that's on, and you won't have to type this in anymore. So for the person in the chat, hopefully that answered your question. Same step as with the, with the iPhone. Yep, okay. All right, so now we are connected. And the last step is to actually take the trade alert. So let's walk through those steps. Now on my YouTube site, there's a video called Understanding the Trade Alert. And I go through each of the parameters in detail. Uh, for the sake of time, I will explain it here, but just know that um, that's available for you. So let's say you get a trade alert. Uh, normally we use the pair for an example CAD JPY. So for the iPhone, when you open it up, when you first open up your demo account, they only give you a few pair. So this is what you do if you don't see the pair listed. You're gonna click on that blue icon in the upper right corner. Then you're going to click on FX crosses. Now, it may also say Forex, it may also say FX group. Um, exotics are uh, pairs um, that are not beginner friendly, neither are indices, that's normally what I trade, futures, stocks, energy, um, metals, cryptos, um, none of those are in the Tradera trade alerts. So you just want to look for the basic Forex pairs. So click on FX crosses, uh, there's CAD JPY, the fourth one down, click on that green circle, click done. 
And now CAD JPY will be at the bottom of your list. So once you add it, it's always going to be there. So you only have to add it the first time that you're using it, if it's not already in your list. So what you want to do is hold down CAD JPY just for a second or two. And then this um, pop-up menu will come up. So if you want to look at it, MT4 has a way for you to view the chart as well. Um, but to take the trade, click on trade. And this window is going to pop up. Now on the right, this is what the Tradera trade alert looks like. So it'll say uh, Tradera's trade team is placing a buy on CAD JPY um, with the following parameters. So let me explain these for a few minutes. So if we're placing a buy, we're expecting price to go up, right? So what happens if the trade doesn't go our way? What happens if there's a news event and price begins to drop? Well, as price is dropping, we are losing money. So we need a way to control our risk, manage our risk, and um, limit our loss. So the stop loss says, okay, at this price, take me out of the trade so that I am no longer losing. So you can imagine it's very important to always have your stop loss set so you can protect your account, okay? So Tradera will give you the stop loss. And on the other side, if the trade is going in our favor, well, at some point you wanna be happy with your profits and exit the trade as well. So Tradera will give you three options take profit one, we call it TP for short, TP1, TP2, and TP3. You have to choose just one for each trade entry. So a lot of us like to, um, you'll hear the phrase pip and dip. So we'll take a quick 15, 20 pip profit and exit the trade. That's If that's you, then choose TP1. Now, if you want a bigger profit, you want to have a little bit more patience, then you can choose TP2. That's normally 50, 60 pips on average. And then take, take profit three, which you know may be a little bit riskier because price may not make it all the way there. It's gonna give you the most profit though, normally 100 pips or more. So that's your choice. And this is why demo is so important to learn you know, what your um, patience tolerance is and just to know, um, do you want quick money or do you mind waiting a little bit? All right, so on the screen, you see a field for stop loss. You just put your finger there and you can edit that number. Same for your take profit. Now, what you will not see on the trade alert is the lot size. And if you see that 0 0.10 underneath market execution, that's where you um, modify your lot size, which is very important. The general rule, like the industry standard, um, is 0 0.01 for every $100 that you have in your account. So when you open your live account, if you open it with $100, 0 0.01 is what you will use for your trades. Um, $200 would be 0 0.02, $500, 0 0.05. So with these demo accounts of $1,000, you can use 0 0.10. Okay, and so that's not gonna be in the trade alert. You just have to know what lot size to use based on how much money is in your account. And if you want inf more information on that, click on the um, watch the understanding the trade alert video on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, uh, the Tradera trade alerts. So I know how to, how to tell you how to find them in the old system. We'll have to wait and see if that has changed um, when the new back office comes up. Most of us are connected to the Telegram link and um, just hold tight in terms of how to get that. You probably could do a support ticket, but I imagine they are pretty backed up for now. But the easiest way is to get connected to that Tradera Telegram. And that's the easier way to get the, the trade alerts. I think they just resumed today. I saw two that came across today. All right, so four things you have to enter on this screen. And let me just use um, my arrow. So your lot size, stop loss, take profit. And then the last step is to do um, sell or buy. And this is a buy. So that's step number four. All right.
So let's go through this for the Android. And then it'll be time for our Q&A. So with the Droid, if you don't see the pair that you want to trade, click on the plus arrow in the upper right corner. This one says FX group. And then click on the pair that you want. Just like with the iPhone, hold it down. And notice with this pop-up menu, new order is what you want to click on. The iPhone, it says trade. With the Android, it says new order. And so with this screen, it's a little bit um, not as clear as, as the iPhone. So here is the lot size. Uh, just that's in the same space as the iPhone was. That's there, that 0 0.01. That's where you modify your lot size. Now, the stop loss is actually this black number um, here to the left. And then the take profit is the black number here to the right. Let me use the arrow. Yeah, that's where you put your take profit. So the same four steps, lot size, stop loss, take profit. And then here at the bottom, you would click buy and you are in the trade. So let's move into our uh, Q&A and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, I see a question in the chat. What is the time frame that they use for the alerts? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, I'll answer it this way. If you're brand new to trading, then the best advice is enter the trade when they give it to you. As you get your feet wet and you get more and more comfortable, then you'll want to do some analysis to figure out the best entry like we stated at the beginning of the class, if you see that information and it hasn't all the way completed yet, maybe you wait until um, the price has reached um, the neckline before you enter the trade. So, um, and what is the time frame that they're using for the alerts? The trade team, the Tradera trade team, um, we're not sure. Um, who they are. We don't have access to them. So I don't know how to answer that question in terms of the time frame. Before I enter a trade, I look at the 15 minute um, chart and make my decision there. So Monica is asking which pair today did the information happen? Let me um, share that again because it was super cool. So that was a free 4X um, trade alert. It wasn't the official Tradera alert. So that pair was um, NZD USD. Let me, okay, so now you can see it. So earlier today when I pulled the trade alert came, the free 4X alert came out. When I pulled it up, I could see a perfect uh, M form. So this drop, none of that was here. Only what you see in the circle, which is a M formation. So just like you're um, forming the letter M, you come down and you come up, there's your M. That typically signifies that price would fall after that. This black line is what is called the neckline. So when price enters there, that's a prime entry um, uh, or indicator that price will um, fall. Yeah, and so this is also called um, a double top. Double top meaning uh, here's the first top. Here's the second top. Notice that, you know, it's not going to be a perfect M, meaning that, you know, this level may not match that level, but it's ballpark. So just know that you'll have to be flexible in terms of seeing that M. It, everything may not line up perf um, perfectly. Um, where do we find these formations? That's not in the candlestick Bible. Yeah, so we've been introducing a few candlestick patterns. This formation, um, let's hold, I'll answer that when the back office comes up and I can tell you specifically um, where it's covered. If not, um, there may be some other resources I can point you to. All right, so guys, um, feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question or you can ask it in the chat either way. 
Tasha, this is Dawn. I have a quick question for you. Hey, Bishop. Okay, let's let Dawn finish first. Go ahead, Dawn. Uh, where, where do you find DXY? What is that? Uh, DXY is referring to the dollar. Yes. So you can actually, um, in TradingView, pull up the dollar itself to see um, if it's going up or if it's going down. Do you want me to show you how to do yeah, that? In the live, if, yes, in the live trade, when I'm trying to select it to put in an order, it doesn't come up any at all. Oh, are you trying to trade the dollar? Uh, uh huh. By itself? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're, you're asking how to find it on MT4? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, it's possible your broker doesn't have it. Um, oh, okay. I, yeah. So for example, one reason that I like Hugo's way is that it has indices, it has crypto, and it has... Yeah, it has regular Forex pairs. So some of the other brokers, you may not have the indices or you may not have the, the crypto. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna take a look now. Um, that's an interesting question, um, Don. I don't know where, yeah, I'll have to look that up for you. I'm not sure. It's possible Hugo's way doesn't have it, but um, yeah, that's a good question. If I, oh, I see it. Ah, <laughs> I see it under futures. Um, yeah, but I don't know if that's exactly what, um, wow, it's there. It's there under futures. Um, hmm. Let me double check to see if that's correct though, but it does say the dollar. Okay. <laughs> All right, who was, um, could I repeat what determines the chart Derek goes over? Yeah, so he takes requests. So right when you, if you go in um, right at eight, you can put in the chat which pair or pairs you want him to take a look at and he'll add it to his list. Hi, right, Tasha. Yes, hey there. Good evening, Carl here. Um, for the sake of your newest reports, um, yes. if you could in 30 seconds summarize the process of setting up um, the, the, the tools that you need on your phone. Would you say that you start with the um, downloading Hugo's Way demo? Y yes, and let me, let me show you this um, on my YouTube page. One second. Okay, so... Here is my YouTube channel. If you go to playlists, there is a start here. And this has the four videos that you will find the most helpful in terms of where to start. So the first one, setting up your demo account, connecting MetaTrader 4 to your demo account, understanding the trade alert, and then taking the trade alert. So these are the four that, in, the same order. in that order, yes. These are the four that I recommend if you're brand new. And Thank after you. these four, you'll, you'll have created your demo account, downloaded MT4, and you'll understand how to take that Tradera trade alert. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Tasha. Hey there. Yeah, this is Suare. Um, Suare, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I wanted to know, is there any suggestion about like any like broker who, because I have not set up my demo account yet, I'm going to do it, so I'm just going to follow the step that you said. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to know about the broker. Is there any specific broker that we can do, like if you kind mm -hmm. of use and using using internationally yeah well um check have you tried hugo's way that should be available for you and so on the setting up your let me share it with you on the setting up your demo account right and while it while it uploads
We do that again. It's, it's, New chair. Because my, I put my sister in the business. I brought her in the business. So basically, mm -hmm. she only speaks French. So I was just trying to get the same broker with her so I can be helping her with, you know, because the train, most of the training is in English. So that's what I'm asking for. Yeah, that I don't know. You're asking for the best broker for um, someone who speaks French. I do not. No, no what I'm saying, just interna mm -hmm. internationally, which I'm going to be helping her if mm -hmm. I can get the same broker. So it's going to be easy for me to help her while I'm learning. Then I can tell her in the language that she will understand. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, start with Hugo's way and... Um, if you chat with them, you can make sure that they are available um, in the country, you know, that she's in. Okay, no problem. Thank you. All right, who's next? Hey, good night, Kaisha. Hi there. I have a question. Okay, ladies first. What's your name? Chloe. <laughs> okay, what's your, what's your question? And then we'll come right to the gentleman. Yes, I can hear you. Glory, like, how do we start the demo account? How do we sign in? Uh, yeah, you'll want to watch the setting up your demo account video on my YouTube, and it'll walk you through all the steps. It'll tell you which website to go to, what fields to fill out, and everything. So if you look in the chat, you should see, If you may have to scroll up a bit. Let me... um. Post it again. So in the chat is my YouTube video. And if you go to the playlist, you can, there's one that says start here. And those four videos will walk you through setting up your demo start to finish. There was All a, right. yeah, there was a question in the chat. How do I determine the measured objective of a double top? Um, it's, it's not always going to be exact. You really just want um, ballpark. So the gentleman who was about to ask the question. Yes, good night. Nicholas here. Hi, Nicholas. Um, you, I paid attention to when you talk about the information, right? Mm -hmm. And oh, what I was asking in the chat was that in the event, or has there ever been an event where you have had a double M formation? And if you do, does the same principle apply? Oh, you mean like four tops? Yeah. Instead of two? Yeah. A lot of times you may see a triple top. And the four tops will be more rare, but yeah, it, it's happened. It happens. And it, you use do you use the same from, uh, the same principle as you explained with the information in terms of you bet when the line is a somewhere down? You do, and, and let, me, let me show you why. So let me go back to that. That's a really good question. Let me explain why price falls. Um, so let me make sure you guys can see it, yeah. So let me use this line. The reason that we have the double tops is that there is a level of resistance and price does not want to go past it. So if you have, in this case, we have two different rejections. This area is a rejection. Okay. And then this area is a rejection. So if you were to multiply that by two and have a third area of rejection and a fourth uh -huh. area of rejection, then that gives you almost more confirmation that price is just not going to go any higher. It's going to fall instead. Oh, okay. Got you. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay, who's speaking? Uh, this is Jody. Jody, hi Jody, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm trying to set up my live account and I purchased, um, I, pur I don't know what I purchased with my credit card. And um, for some reason it went to Instacoin. I thought I was, I did it on Hugo's way. Mm -hmm. I thought I was purchasing from my I use my credit card to purchase something straight as at Hugo 
heal goes mm -hmm. away. Uh -huh. And now I'm getting something about Insta coins, and I have to do a um, um, fill out something, and I'm not quite sure what's going on. Yeah. So on my YouTube site, I have a, a video called How to Open a Live Account. And within that, I make a recommendation in terms of loading it using Cash App on your phone and Bitcoin. So the this is a, a, another way that you have tried. And um, I, I guess Hugo's Way has partnered with Instacoin so you can buy Bitcoin. And, and don't let the Bitcoin fool you. It's going to um, convert it to dollars so that it'll be something that you're familiar with. So I have not been through that Instacoins um, process. So I think the best thing to do would be um, chat with tech support. All the brokers have wonderful- um, Hugo's Way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because and okay. they have some documentation on how to use Instacoin. I, I'm not even sure how I, how I got into Instacoin Hello? or why they're asking me to fill out something. Um, so in your back office, um, that's, that's a way to fund your account. Okay. So okay. So probably I just need to speak to who goes way about it. Yeah. So you've actually done a transaction. I did for $150 on my credit card and um not quite sure what to do from there. I'm not even sure where the money is, but I'm getting yeah, something from Instacoin. Mm -hmm. It's it's to it's gonna be there. Um, yeah, you want to do that as soon as you can. Their chat, their tech support is open almost all the time, and you can chat with them and say, "Hey, here's the email I got. Where is my money?" <laughs> right, because this is like three days now. Yeah, yeah, definitely um, work with tech support and, and I'm sure they can clear it up for you. All right, thank you so much. Sure. I see a question from Glory. What's the importance of demo account as it regards to trading? Um, how do we know if price is going to go up or down? So demo is great because it's a way to learn and make mistakes without it costing you anything. When you open up your live account, that's real money. So you don't want to try to figure out how to take a trade and get the buy and sell mixed up or have the wrong lot size with your actual money in there. So with demo, you can start with free, you know, fake monopoly money, if you will, and you can make mistakes all day and night and it's not going to cost you anything. You know, so that's where you want to go to, to learn how to do it. Now, your question about how do we know if price is going to go up or down? Uh, the master traders will, will teach you, Derek Conway especially, we try not to predict, we react once price lets us know which way it's going. So this information that we're showing is a perfect example. Once price um, forms this M and then starts to dip, then that's telling us that nine times out of 10, um, price should follow or fall after that. And there's just, you know, that's a really loaded question. There's, you really got to dive into your back office and just learn um, how price moves. There's actually a science to it. And at the same time, the market does what it wants to do. So we can't predict it with 100% accuracy. All right, who's next? Hi, Tasha. Hi. Yes, it's Anita from Jamaica. Um, when you got a trade alert from Chadira, uh huh. Is it, it does it give a specific peer to trade, or are you just going and trade your peer? No, it's definitely going to give you a pair specifically. So when you, when you get the, the, the trade, when you receive the trade alert, you just um plug into the, the uh, metaphor, the metaphor trader, and and start to trade. Yes, you pull up that pair, you enter your lot size, your stop loss and take profit from the trade alert, and you press buy or sell. <laughs> Okay, so the lot size, the um, the, the the stop loss and and the, um, TP, the TP, the, the the one that they place um that comes in the um and and Telegram that is the what what they gave us that's what we're gonna use. Yes, they give you a stop loss. They give you three take profits, so you pick one. Okay, I recommend TP one or TP two. Okay, okay so um, like how I don't um. 
I, I don't really, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, uh, I don't really go to the, the videos that you said, um, the four videos. I don't mm -hmm. really get time to go through them as yet because, you know, um, I'm having a, a little bit of right now. My mom mm -hmm. is not well and my son was admitted in the hospital. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's really been hectic. Yeah, um, I understand. I wish yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, so what um, I would, I'm asking, let, um, I'm very, very anxious. On us. I want to start trading because it's something that I love. And yeah. I don't really start to watch it and demo account. Could, is it possible that I could set up a live account and when the trading alert come in, I use it? Or, or that is not wise? Have you done your demo account first? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I have done my demo account, but I'm not doing a lot of practice on it because, you know, because of complications, I, I yeah. didn't get to get on sometimes. I work during the day, like your class, like our courses and things that might work. So I don't yeah. get to go in fully to understand how to start, but you know, I'm, I'm just going on and just trying to figure out some things. Yeah. But I really would like, you know, so I don't know if it's wise, like, no, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I would, I would recommend practicing a while in, in demo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to be comfortable. Yes, you don't want to yes. have any questions in terms of taking a trade in, in your live account. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, okay. You're welcome. Monica has a question. Um, did I say that confluence is the definite to enter the trade? So what I, what I said, and let me uh, pull that chart up. So you want um, as many confirmations as you can. And once you have more than one confirmation, then you have confluence. So confluence gives you more confidence that it's wise to take that trade. I would shy away from using the word um, definite because again, you know, we can't control the market. We can't predict it with 100% accuracy. No one can do that. But if you get a trade alert, then obviously, you know, that's one confirmation. Then um, later on, you know, everyone comes in, you get the confirmation of the trade alert, just, just take it. And then the next step is to begin to do some analysis. So to date today, for example, when I saw in you and I saw that information, that gave me a confirmation that the trade alert was, you know, that Forex, free Forex alert was indeed valid. <laughs> All right, who's next? And how do you do the trade alert, Glory? Um, there's a Tradera trade alert and it's gonna be in the back office, but until the system comes back up fully, I won't be able to answer that for you to tell you exactly where it is. Okay. Yes, Tasha. Hi. Angelina, this is Angelina. Hi, Angelina. I would like to uh, find out, you say, if we get like the trade alerts, we should, if it's possible, we should hold on a bit and let's let it get say to the neck before we place the, the, the buy or the, we place the order. My Just question so. is, mm -hmm. my question is, how do you know if you don't quite go to the chat to check, how do you know when you get to the neck? Uh, well, in that, particular case let me pull that one up again so the neck is generally here where that middle where those middle lines are so let me um insert where's my text so the neck is where that that black line is and you get that from this um, from this middle area here. Okay. So normally around here, that's the completion of the M. And so you have, you know, it's not 100%, but more than likely price is going to fall after that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then my question is, how do you know if you don't have a chart that it has reached the neck Oh, it's still about to reach. Yeah, you, you're not going to know unless you pull it up in Trading View. Okay. You can you can look at it on MT4 as well. Which do do you have MT4 on your phone? Or yes. Trading View? Yeah, I have 
My setup is MT4 on my phone and TradingView on my computer. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Yeah, but you know, you can you can look at the chart on MT4 and you can still see the M that way. Okay, thank Absolutely. you very much. You're welcome. All right, we have a few minutes left. Um, and then, okay, let me get out completely from uh, out of this tra uh, trading. I have. To, I'm trying to set in uh, to set my what to log into my back office, and they are telling me they've sent me um, a what a password, something to reset my password. But till now, I've not seen anything. Um, yeah, I. The, there are a lot of issues with the back office coming up now, so I, I can't speak to any of that, to be honest. I don't have any answers. <laughs> okay. <Thank you. laughs> Sorry. I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, iPhone is asking, how do you look at a pair on TradingView? So let's spend um, the last minute or two. Um, yeah, and, and Gloria, you can do MT4 on your computer. It's just... It's, there's it's more involved so i haven't gone over that yet because i'm trying to keep things um simple but let's let me pull trading view back up okay so when you pull up trading view here is where you can enter the pair. So say you wanted to look at AUD USD, which is a very um, user beginner friendly pair. And then you just choose your time frame. So I typically enter a trade on the 15 minute. So that would be where I would enter it. Let me take my indicators away. So let's make this a little cleaner so I don't confuse you. So yeah, this is what you would see. So you would enter the pair here, or if you, let's say you have a few pairs that you want to look at every day, you can, hey. add, you can add it here. And once you add it here, this is now your watch list. So instead of having to type the information over here, you can just click on the pairs in your watch list and it will switch for you. So that's how you um, pull up the pairs um, on TradingView. Um, and everyone normally wants to know how do you draw your support and your resistance lines? The easiest thing to do is to click on this trend line tool, click on horizontal line, and there you can um, do some support and resistance. Remember that um, support is like your floor. So these are levels where price does not want to go beneath. It's like, where are the candles resting, right? So you can see this is a level where the candles didn't want to fall beneath. Um, let's move that up. So your resistance, these are your, you can think of it as your ceiling. What are the levels where price just doesn't want to go above? Okay, so support is uh, like the floor, resistance is um, like the ceiling. Something else that's neat on TradingView, there's a minus and a plus. So when I'm drawing my support and resistance, I like to zoom out. And the more that I can see, um, it helps me to be able to draw my support and resistance. So now that I've zoomed out, I can identify a level um, maybe here as a support and then maybe here on the bottom. But um, this is all covered really well um, in your back office. But definitely start practicing with your support and resistance. And now we're going to wrap things up and head over, to, uh, over to, to Derek's class. This is called Trapping Price. 
and then Derek will show us how to trade from zone to zone and catch pips on our own on a daily basis. I'm doing that and he is my mentor. Tasha, do you know where he's having his class? I, I'm not sure if it's from the back office. Yeah, one second. I think I can find. Um, Would you see. be able to post it on the Elite um, yeah, or somewhere? Uh, I think I'm going to try to post it here. I know I did um, on Tuesday's class. One second. Let me find it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll close with that. Uh, I posted it for my team, so let me go there. One second. Uh, it's the nine thirty. Here we go. And there's a meeting ID. All right, let's see if it will allow me to post it in the chat. All right, uh, let's see if it will let me post it. Is it the same one that's in the playbook, Tasha? No, this is on um, Tradera's personal meeting room. It's in the chat now. Okay, okay thank you. Uh-huh. All right, everyone. So hopefully you can copy that, and I will get this posted on the YouTube channel and... We'll talk to everyone next week and hopefully we'll have some good news about the back office and hopefully it will be up running and smooth. All right. So Thank was you. everyone able to, you're welcome. Was everyone able to get a copy of the zoom meeting? Yes. All right. Okay. All right, everyone. I'll see you on that call. And for those of you, um, I'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, okay. Tasha. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Right.